Hey there guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, macro bots in SOS for auto healing. So in order to do that, you're first going to need to get an emulator on your laptop or computer. So the one that I'm going to be using today is going to be LD Player. So just go to Google, type in LD Player. And that should come up straight away at the very top, ldplayer.net. Open this up, and this will be this will be the website ldplayer.net. And you just go ahead and click on, uh, well, go ahead and download uh, the latest version. This is going to be uh, LD Player Nine. Um, so you can go ahead and get uh, get the 9 version, that is the latest one. So you go ahead and click on that, and this will go ahead and download. As you guys can see, here it is downloading. Uh, once that's done, you'll get two different icons on your screen. One is called LD Player, and the other one is called LD Multiplayer. Now obviously, this is going to be... Uh, revolving around having multiple accounts in state of survival which are going to be clicking uh the heal button inside the game which is why they are known as you know healing bots as as what people call them so you go ahead and open this up and you will have just one account at the beginning um, but if you go down here and click on this uh, blue button called new click on that and then click new LD player when you click on that this will uh, instantly create a new uh, a new account for you a new emulator so you can go ahead and call this whatever you want SOS um, healer and then once you've done that um, I do recommend that you go into the settings, you just click this little cogwheel and just make some little changes on default it is probably going to be on uh, either 1920 by 1080 or 1600 by 900 I usually have mine set to 1280 just because you know they all then fit on the screen if you've got a big screen or multiple uh, screen setup obviously pick whatever you prefer and I also recommend that you uh, go ahead and pick one or two cores. Considering the, the, the only purpose for this account is going to be just clicking one single button and that is it. I would recommend you set it to one core. That way it's less stressful on your CPU. Especially when you have it running for multiple hours uh, over the, uh, the course of the events. So then go ahead and click uh, save changes and go ahead and click the start button. So this will go ahead and start um, LD player. And we just wait for that to load up. Now you do need to make note, you do need multiple uh, Google accounts. So just go ahead, create yourself a new email address and um, that is what you're going to be using to log into these. Just save it, save, save the emails in a spreadsheet, um, you know, and uh, just 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 make sure you don't lose those details. So this will go ahead and load up, and uh, just give it just a couple more seconds because obviously it's the very first time that it's booting up. Uh, sometimes I do recommend that you actually even uh, give it a restart in some cases, but we'll uh, we'll just have a look and see what happens. So uh, you've got your system apps just over here, guys. You want to go ahead and click on system apps, and you will see the Play Store in this list. You want to go ahead and click on this because this is where you go in order to download State of Survival. If, you've, uh, if you're an iPhone user, obviously it will be different, so you need to make your accounts this way because this is how the emulators work. And it'll ask you then to sign into your, uh, your Google account, so you click sign in. 
and then it'll just uh, yeah I'll just check some info and here you go it says please sign in so you'll sign in with an account that you've made like SOS um, state uh, I don't know 1085 at uh, gmail.com and then you go ahead and you click next obviously the, an account doesn't exist but you need to go ahead and create this you can go ahead and click the actual create button inside here as well if you want to um, and I'll just open up my two active ones right here yes you can go ahead and customize the background as well so once you've logged into the account you're gonna be you'll be signed in and then obviously you do a search for uh, state of survival zombie war game install it and then just wait for it to finish installing once that is done you will get the state of survival icon on your desktop so then log into the game just how you normally would uh, with your phone and uh, it will go through the tutorial at the very beginning it only takes about two minutes uh, get into the uh, the base at the beginning and you'll you'll do about six things at the start and then you can click on your profile in the top left hand corner and you can uh, then change your account to go and create it in the state that you you want the account to be in so once you've done that and you just starting up your account that's what you want to do and I'll go ahead and show you how you actually get the um, get the tapping function to work as well because uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know how to do that but I'll show you how it works so as you can see we're just currently logging into two of our two of our accounts right now right okay so we'll just go ahead and close these right so the way how auto tapping works is very simple you just click on the onto the alliance button and then click on the help tab and this is where and this is where you just leave the accounts and the way how this works is it will automatically keep clicking the uh, help all button between every five and ten seconds depending on how you want to customize it and it, it will just keep doing that automatically for you now I need to join another alliance here just to kind of show you at how the function works with this so is there any opened alliances yeah we got one open alliance here rank 31 so if I just go ahead and just join this alliance and just uh, show you how this function works right so with LD player you have this bar down the right hand side and if you go ahead and click on the three little dots here this opens up uh, more commands obviously if you have it uh, wider the the window like if we make it bigger you can see that the icons are now fitting all onto the screen so if you don't have it that is why right so when you're in here you'll have this little icon which uh, is kind of like an arrow pointing left and an arrow pointing uh, to the right it's called synchronizer you want to go ahead and click on this and you will then see your other uh, your other emulators your other accounts in this list so if I go ahead and select this one and then click start synchronizing you will see that just up here you now have this synchronizing uh, tab up here you can go ahead and click pose and play and obviously stop to close it down and what this does is if I click up here it also does ma the exact same action here on the second one so if I click on help they're both on the help window and obviously you will have these in your in the same alliance um, obviously mine are in two different ones so I'm getting two different screens and then you click help all and that is that is your tap so 
that is having two accounts doing the doing the tap function. Now, how do you get it to keep repeating the same function without you having to do anything? So we go back over here onto the right hand side and you will see this uh, this this letter A. And this is called Operation Recorder. So you go ahead and click on this one. And uh, in fact, something that you actually want to do first is actually pose, actually pose the uh, the synchronizer at this point. Yeah, you don't you don't want it uh, recording both uh, both screens doing this. You just want it doing one screen. So this so this is now not linked, right? And inside here, you click Start Recording. So you go ahead and do that, and it is now recording. Where the heal button is, you want to go ahead and click that. When the timer up here has reached five seconds. Wait, let me do that again for you guys. So again, let me get rid of this. So you click start recording. The recorder is up at the top here. I wait for it to get to five seconds. And then I click down here. Yeah, I make a click, one single click. Stop it at 10 seconds, and there we go. And then I will call this um, healing, I don't know, healing, healing taps. And you can then go ahead and click on the uh, this little cogwheel, the settings. And uh, inside here, you've got, uh, it'll be set as default to loop one time or run until manually stopped. This is the option that you want to select. So you go ahead and click on this, click on save, and then go back up to your synchronizer, click on play. And what this is going to do is it's going to synchronize your main account actions with the second account or the third account or the fourth account, however many of you are going to be setting up. And then we go ahead and activate the healing bot macro. So I go ahead and hit play. You can go ahead and then close it with the little X button. You can see it up here in the top and it will say executing one time. Now, after 10 seconds, it will go into its second loop. So you can see at how many times it's actually executed the command. So I'm not going to do anything right now. You can see this. Uh, a player who needs assistance and the program will do it by itself every 10 seconds you see that there you go it has now just clicked the button automatically it would have done it on the second one as well if they were in the same alliance and that is how you set up a healing bot guys it is that simple now obviously you can go ahead and uh, have it tapping more frequently however I have mine as a 10 second delay so it, the way how I programmed it is I have a wait time of five seconds, then it clicks the button, then it waits five seconds, and that's the end of the process. And then it starts it again. So you've got another five seconds. So it's 10 seconds wait time in total. And then it activates it again. And then it waits another 10 seconds. And then it got, starts again. Five seconds, click, five seconds, starts again, five seconds, click, Five seconds yeah and that is how it works guys so you can go ahead and speed that up you don't have to do it the exact same way as me however I find that obviously if you're doing this for state of survival it doesn't have to be this game but this is aimed for state of survival uh, I do find that just having it on a 10 second delay when you are running a lot of accounts just keeps them working uh, throughout the day at a very good stable pace um it's completely up to you anyway i hope this was helpful thank you very much have yourself a good one guys and good luck in state versus state and capital clash peace out